Hello Libra, welcome on my channel, Tipple Tree Tarot, and today I'm doing your August 2019 general love reading. I know you guys are late, but I'm doing it, okay? I'm, I'm here. This is a general love reading, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest. These messages are not for everyone. You can come to me for personal reading if you want to. Details are given on my channel. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I will truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. So let's see what's happening between you and this person. Energy could be vice versa if you're a cross watcher or if you are. A Libra. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what happened between you and this person. Your past, your present, and your possible outcome or near future with this person. Okay, let's see what's happening. There's a lot of cards. Let's see what happened in the past. What's your current energy between you and this person? Hmm. And what is the possible outcome? Please give me the possible outcome between the Libra and that person. Oh my God, what's that? Okay. Someone is very controlling here. Oh yeah. Something clear here with this. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. So bottom of the deck you have is a wands. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or fire sign, right? So um let's talk about here. I already got the clears card here. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. So you have in the recent past, you guys have ten of wands. Yeah. There was a burden. This connection was a burden. And also you have eight of swords reverse here. It could be dealing with air sign, another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I feel that between you and this person, there was a lot of burden and pressure. Um, also, you were feeling trapped because you feel like there is no future between you and this person. Something happened. And uh, why this, uh, now I cleared this card, why the ten of wands here, why you are feeling was pressure and burden in this connection, why you were feeling drained. And you are feeling like you are the one putting all the energy there because you want Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a dealing with a water sign. So I feel like you want definitely with this new beginning with this person. You want another, you want this love offer from this person. But this person was not offering you this love or can, they were not coming towards you. Or you were wait, waiting for this person to communicate with you, to open up to you emotionally somehow maybe with the Ace of Cups. But this is like you want new beginning with this person. But this person was draining your energy. They were not there. You have eight of swords reverse here. So I feel like finally you were facing the reality. You're like you were seeing that, okay, fine. If this person is not coming toward me, then I have to do my own work. Because clear by eight of swords, you have the Hierophant. Could be dealing with Taurus. Look at this. Um, I feel that you were definitely waiting for this person to come toward you and give you commitment. Um, like traditional, you are you want definitely something serious with this person, with the Ace of Cups and with the Hierophant. You definitely want something serious with him, but this person was not giving you. So I feel like now with the um, with the Hierophant, now you are trying to heal. You're trying to balance your energy. It's past. It's past. Now what happening in the current uh, energy right now? What's going on here? Uh, I feel with the princess uh, of wands here, you're waiting for this person to come towards you. Could be younger fire sign, or it could be you are younger than this person. Could be this person live on the distance from you, or they are right now emotionally, physically, or on the distance from you. Definitely, because there is no communication. I see here, you have princess of wands. Okay, you are waiting for this person to text you, to call you, or come back to you, to visit you. Then you have six of wands reverse here. Again, a fire energy. But this person is not coming towards you. Like they are, why they're not coming towards you? I just got the clarified here. You have three of swords. Oops. Um, because it could be there is a third party situation involved, third person involved, whatever the reason is. 
This person is busy at somewhere else, dealing with another person or another situation. And you are here waiting for this person to come towards you, to talk with you or to visit you, to see you, whatever it is. But this person is busy at somewhere else. Like they are dealing with another person or they are dealing with another situation right now. Could be business, could be career, could be another person. But this is a third party situation. That's why you guys are not coming together. I'm feeling very strongly third party situation is here between you and this person. That's why this person is not coming towards you. They're still there. Now let's see what's the possible outcome between you and this person. You have two of pentacles reverse here. I feel that if you're waiting for this person, could be earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus especially here, and Capricorn is also here. You have fire sign, Aries and Leo especially here, and also you have air signs, Libra especially here. You also have the tower that is the Scorpio card here. Okay, could be any sign. Two of pentacles reverse here. So I feel that you really need to drop this. Okay, you really need to drop this weight and hope, okay, right now. Because I feel this person is definitely is busy some busy in somewhere. I'm gonna clear this. What is this third party situation? Why the Theo Soul is here? Yeah, the hangman reverse here. The hangman reverse here. To be dealing with Pisces, two of swords, it's getting more complicated. This person on the crossroad, like they don't know if they're dealing with something or they're dealing into some situation, they don't know what to choose and where to go because they're on the crossroad. Oh, eight of cups. That's why this person left you. That's why this breakup happened. That's why this separation happened between you and this person. Could be this is your past. You are waiting for this person. Definitely look at this. Like this is your recent past, you're already waiting for this person very strongly. This person left you, this person gone away from you, and now you're waiting for this person to come towards you, to talk with you. So I feel like you need to drop the weight here because the justice rewards here. This is you, Libra. I feel the balance is not coming towards you right now. It's not there. Could be this person is already married as you can see that the justice rewards here that's why this person is not coming towards you i feel definitely this person has to choose between you and the other person or other situation that is really important for them too and this person is on the crossroad they don't know what to choose that's why they left you the emperor rewards could be dealing with aries this person is also very stubborn very very stubborn you can't bite this person um you it could be you're dealing with aries so do you want this area is to come towards you and offer you something serious but they also have an attitude problem okay and you have the sun card clear by with this um, two major arcana by the way <laughs> the Aries that the emperor and then you have the sun card clear by this um, this emperor the sun card so i feel like this person really need to heal from something or they really need to get the polarity and come towards you because this person is also on the crossroad. If you are waiting for this person, you are tired of waiting and uh, you're waiting for this person to communicate with you. This person also don't know to which way to go. Okay. So I feel like you really need to wait for this person to come towards you. Okay. They really need uh, some clarity. Okay. Then they will come towards you because they are also not clear about it. That's why this injustice imbalance is happening in your life. You have the devil reverse. Could be dealing with Capricorn. The devil is also talk about definitely addictions, obsessions, fears, and things like that. So it could be this. There is some sexual connection here going on, as you can see that in this deck. Look at this. The sexual connection it could be this person is addicted to someone. Okay, sexually, uh, they're dealing with something. That's why they can't come towards you. They have some addictions, obsession with someone or with some situations. I don't know. Yeah, they're bossy. They're also bossy. They have an attitude problem. Very, very strong mom. Then you have King of Cups US. Look at this, how this person is detached. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio you're dealing with. They're not emotionally available to you. They're detached. As you can see there with the King of Cups reverse. And then the Tower reverse here. Scorpio energy. This person don't want to change, by the way. Because the Tower Reverse and King of Cups Reverse, this person is stubborn as hell. They don't want to compromise. They don't want to change. They don't want to be, you know, sacrifice anything. As you can see that the Hangman Reverse here, they don't want to sacrifice. 
and the um, this emperor rewards here they're the bossy they're stubborn they want the things with their own style like if you will say that today is a um, today is a uh, sunday you have to say yes it's sunday even though it's not a sunday it's a saturday if they are saying that today we we need to eat this and this and you are saying no this person will say no we have to eat this and you have to follow them so this person really need to change their behavior their attitude towards relationships and commitments this person is also i feel like there is no offense here but i feel like this person is definitely they have to change they have to compromise and sacrifice into relationships that's why this person is not coming towards you this person is also emotionally detached they don't want to attach with someone emotionally and then you have the this um even though this um this devil reverse here but i still feel like this person has addictions obsession with sexual energy they are connecting with someone or they have some sexual you know like addictions to sleep with other women or men whatever it is whatever your person is so i feel that's why you need to give them space and time because this person is not ready for commitment or marriage or something like that i know you want something serious but this person is not ready they are stubborn they really need to realize how to be compromising into relationships vice versa if you're a cross watcher i'm just telling whoever this person here is they are not ready for relationships they need to understand how to be compromising and sacrificing into relationships they also need to understand to think and about other person who is involved in this relationship they this person here is definitely is a definition of only about i me and myself that's how this person's definition is you understand me so you have to give them time and space this person really need some healing they really need to change their attitude and behavior then this will happen okay so give them time and give them space this person will come if they mean to be come in your life but i know that you are waiting for this person but they are also saying to you that drop this right, right now drop this hope drop this um expectation because it's imbalanced right now this is not the right time to get the justice or to be in a relationship with this person right so that was your reading i really hope it resonated with you guys like share and subscribe my channel god bless you all